Well, hey guys, it's Drew. It's been a while since I posted. Uh, yeah, I've been busy with my real estate license uh, and training and stuff like that. So, hey, today uh, I want to welcome you guys to the new subscribers that uh, have just joined my channel. We're working on the 1999 Mercedes 300E. And these Mercedes, uh, it's a diesel model. And let me just tell you, these things are put together pretty terrible as far as electronics. <laughs> so why am I holding my hand here? I'm showing you what this looked like before I took it apart. Guys, I always get excited, start taking stuff apart before I make a video. So, it started with changing a light bulb, and so what you do with that is you, you grab a screwdriver here, and then you just, there's a little pinch right in here, and you pull this panel down. See these little slots right there? You wanna be gentle, you don't want to pull those too hard. Okay, so that's how you get that panel open. And same thing for the other one. And ah, there we go. Oh, it's yeah, why haven't I made a video in a while? It's because it's, so then you've got this exposed here. Now, if you're just changing the light bulb, you just put it in and out of that socket like that. Okay, I'm gonna do another video on that. But uh, what I want to show you here is how I got this. Uh, uh, this is the panel for the door lights and for the um, sliding moonroof here. Okay, so it's also got the uh back in the 90s guys before we had bluetooth they had uh a cell phone connectivity um and the speaker would be in the car so you know some cars still have that but anyway this speaker was buzzing and malfunctioning so let's get to it here so what i want to show you is there's a little metal thing right there and right there and you got to very gently uh take you know a small screwdriver let me show you oh, it fell down Okay, guys, but um, you're going to want to take a small screwdriver like this, and you're just going to want to pry it uh, in between these little metal things here, okay? So you don't want to force it too hard because you could damage the, uh, the, the roof here. Now, as I said, I've already done this. Guys, I'm sorry about the camera work. This is why I haven't made videos in a while. I've just been over unconfident about my ability to hold the camera while I'm doing this stuff. But right there, these little notches tuck up in there and you're going to push in on them okay so when those pins there's only two pins it'll come down this way then you slowly work this down and it'll be connected by these things okay so what else i want to show you is if you're having problems with your moon roof or anything else now in this case um let's see we'll find it right here there is, this is the wire right here that goes to that annoying uh cell phone speaker that was just making a buzzing sound and that's this right here okay so if it's buzzing on you, uh, this is corroded and there's almost, it's a little fan in there. I've never seen a speaker with a fan, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So anyway, I'm just going to disconnect it. See where those four prongs are? I'm just going to leave that disconnected and that shouldn't cause any more problems. But um, then you got to plug all this other stuff back in. That's your sunroof and everything else. Um, so yeah, you got to make sure everything's plugged back in. There's a lot of wires here. Uh, there's, you know, like I said, wires for the roof, wires for the interior door lights. You know, you've got the one in the back as well and all that. So, but it's interesting. It, it, this whole unit just comes right out here. So if you're having a problem with this, other than the light bulbs, you can always just um, probably go to a junkyard and replace it. Um, just pull it out of the junkyard. But uh, what I wanted, I just wanted to show you guys this, if, if you've got a Mercedes and, um, uh, yeah, just anytime you're working on a car, be gentle. You know, look for those tabs. Um, don't pull things too hard. And if it's not coming when you're pulling on it, look for extra screws. Usually on something like that, there's not screws, but you don't want to snap plastic. So just take your time. Luckily, there's a video like this on YouTube for you guys to where um, eventually somebody will find this useful so they won't break their uh, thing. Now on this side, you'll see those are just slide in tabs and they just slide in on the top up there. So. Um, we're gonna put this back up here, but again these little metal tabs just slide right up there on top And you just got to get a little tiny screwdriver in there right there after taking the light bulb out and push in on those And when you push in it'll let it come down very gently. So all right guys. Well, so that's how you take out the uh, This moonroof console on a 1999 Mercedes 300 E and again, I'm sorry for the shakiness of the camera guys um, and uh, I wanted to welcome you guys that are new subscribers, and uh, I do lots of little fix-it videos like this, so uh, when something comes up, I just put it in there, but this can help a lot of people who are <laughs> trying to figure out how to get that out, uh, or if they want to work on that. 
Um, so thanks for watching, guys. This is Drew with Drew's Quick Fixes and Hacks.